Thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Attorneys, where we have no slogan, but we have a lot of audio issues. This is like the fifth time I'm trying to do this video on egg storage, basically. We're doing a video on quail egg storage, and I'm having nothing but audio issues when trying to do this. Uh, started a couple of weeks back. I ended up buying a couple of new microphones, and they work, but in different environments, you know, you have to tweak them. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Kenny. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on how I plan to store my quail eggs pretty soon. Uh, coming up, you know, right now it's winter and the egg production has slowed down, of course, because of the lack of light. Quail live outside and I don't have light on them, artificial light, so egg production is next to nil. Anyway, uh, I have behind me a wine chiller that happened to be upstairs when we were cleaning up. I was going to bring this downstairs and then I thought about it. Turns out the optimal temperature for chilling wine happens to be about 55 degrees. This thing, when set at low, is at a perfect 55.2, 55.5 degrees, which is optimal for storing whatever kind of eggs you're going to be incubating. Uh, quail eggs, duck eggs, chicken eggs, pheasant eggs, dove eggs, whatever. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of room in here. You can put a storage container or whatever, load your eggs up. You can put them in, you know, egg containers you can do whatever you can replace the shelves that were in here I took the original shelves out of course because they were designed to hold wine bottles so they didn't serve any purpose and they're just you know chilling over in the corner anyway uh, it has a couple of different settings of course we can get the temperature pretty much anywhere between about 50 I think it's about 54 and about 62 degrees uh, depending on you know what you're storing and your personal taste but again I'm not using this for wine because I hardly ever drink any wine so this is going to get a lot of use uh, moving forward on the channel uh, right now I don't have it plugged in of course because of the fact that I'm not using it uh, but you know once I do I'm going to make sure that I keep the hygrometer slash thermometer in here now I don't need the hygrometer feature that's going to be you know what I'm using for my uh, incubator. Another video on that later. Uh, thanks to Terry from Caternix Corner for that design. Uh, but all in all, you know, this is how I plan on storing my eggs in the future. Again, you can keep quail eggs at about 55 degrees and the uh, common school of thought is that, you know, they'll last for about a week, seven days to 11 days. Depending upon who you're asking, this will improve your hatch rate. So you wanna keep your eggs somewhere in that 55 degree Fahrenheit temperature range. Uh, this, again, will do it perfectly. Right now, go figure though, in my basement, it's winter time in Buffalo, it's about 40 degrees outside, and go figure, it's a perfect 58 degrees in my basement. So I could store eggs down here for a couple of days, get away with it if I was so inclined to do so, but right now, again, I have no eggs to store, so, I'm doing this video, you know, showing you what I'm doing in preparation. I'm not going to store racks in here. I'm, excuse me. I'm not going to put racks in here because I'm just going to have a storage container, you know, maybe a, uh, I think it's like a six by 14 storage container or eight by 14 storage container. Just put it in here, put the eggs in there, get them ready for the incubator. The incubator has two tiers. I, I think I'm going to do the incubation on a rotating basis top tier, bottom tier, bottom tier, top tier, what have you, maybe a couple of days up to a week apart, uh, get a couple of brooders going. And of course, we're going to cover that later on. So make sure that you hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime we do do anything new on the channel. But of course, if you want to see a live hatch, we're going to have that coming up soon. Uh, now, I like to definitely hear how you guys store your eggs because as I mentioned before in any, you know, few of my previous videos, I do learn a lot from you guys. So feel free to leave comments below. And I'd like to thank you once again for coming to check us out here today at New York Paternix. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, leave a like for the video and please subscribe to the channel for more. 
hit that notification bell too so you're notified anytime anything new does happen on the channel. I look forward to seeing you at our next video. Thanks again from New York Eternics. Go Bills! Thank you.